cares collected from cinema goers in Auckland today will be used to help develop a new test to detect breast cancer. The tool is being developed by an American company, Ascendant DX. Its founder and chief executive, Omid Mogadam, says the test is more reliable at detecting breast cancer than a mammogram, and it could cost a few dollars to make. He explained to Anusha Bradley how the test works. We're developing a breast cancer screening test that looks for biomarkers found in tears. So the research has shown that this, the level of some biomarkers actually do change in human tears when breast cancer is present. We use things called the Shermer strip. So it's a piece of filter paper that ophthalmologists have used for a very long time to diagnose dry eye. It doesn't have any chemicals on it. It's essentially a piece of filter paper. That goes on the lower eyelid. Just that mild irritation feeling, it's like a feeling of having an eyelash in your eye that would, that would uh, tear up the eye and, and it saturates the paper. At that point, we're done with the patient. That piece of paper, the Shermer strip, goes inside a vial of uh, buffer fluid. The proteins that are stuck to that uh, piece of paper come off, and that liquid goes into our cartridge. Within 20 to 30 minutes, we see lines. And that's how, that's how we diagnose whether there's, uh, there's disease presence or not. And it uses minute amounts of very inexpensive material. So we can make the test literally for you know, dollars a piece. Now, but with every other cost that goes into that, we've been looking at, at, at a price point of around $99 in the US for the test. And, and you know, we have to test it for, we have to price it for different type of markets. But it is going to be an inexpensive test. Our goal is to make an inexpensive test. You know, our, the, our motto is democratizing breast cancer screening. So it can be used even in, in, in medium to low income countries as well. When are we likely to see such a test here in New Zealand or elsewhere? We have not actually started the FDA approval process. First, we need the clinical trial. So we have started that. So we need about 1,000 patients in our study. The largest one we have done today is 300. So once we have that 1,000 patient study done, then we can go through the, uh, the clearance processes, both in Europe and FDA simultaneously, so US and Europe. So we think about 18 months that we can, from the day that we start our clinical trial officially, 18 months we can be in market in Europe, and a few months after that in the US. And I know the MedSafe, which is the regulatory uh, body in New Zealand, accepts both CE and FDA as the starting part of the application. So I imagine that once we have those, those regulatory approvals, we can apply to MedSafe and be in New Zealand shortly after that. So how reliable is the test compared to a mammogram? Comparing a biological test like this to an imaging test like mammogram is a bit like comparing apples to oranges. But our test has a sensitivity of about 90%. So we're about 90% accurate. Mammograms are accurate. Their accuracy depends on the type of tissue that, that they are imaging. So for women with dense breasts, which is about 40% of, of women of European origin, and then 60% of women of Asian Pacific origin, the accuracy of mammogram is actually quite low. It's about 23%. So um, the biological test works for everybody, for every type of tissue, for every race and, uh, and, and ethnic background. I noticed you're collecting samples from men as well today. Men do get breast cancer too, and actually mortality rate for men who get breast cancer is much higher because they find out in la latter stages of the disease that they do have breast cancer. You're an American company. Why have you come to New Zealand? Uh, for one thing, New Zealand has the highest rate of breast cancer in the world. I mean, that's, that's one reason. Second is because we were invited to this wonderful, wonderful event that brings the magic of movies and the emotion of movies with, with our test, which is based on tears. So marrying them together gave us a very unique opportunity to collect a lot of samples. I mean, 500 samples in one day, one event, from the place that has the highest breast cancer rate in the world is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, is immeasurably valuable to us. Omid Magadam talking to Anusha Bradley.